Welcome back to another Pro Tour Cube draft here on magicthegathering.michaelb.com. I'm your host, Michael B. Hey. Hi. You're Michael F. Oh. What are you taking here, man? What do you think about this? I think it's either Top or Jace. You don't like Torrential Gear Hulk? I mean, it is a build around. Your mother's a build around. Metalworker is also a very good build around, though. You know who else is a good build around? My dad. I don't think we saw like there's no signets though. Is the problem? I didn't see any signets. <laughs> Are you okay? Did something happen? Someone just said brown it. And I thought that was real funny. <laughs> brown it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think it's one of these three. I don't know which one though. You I don't either, man. No, oh, there are signets. Are there moxes? Moxin? Moxi? Moxi? I think it's. I think this is probably the strongest card. I'm gonna take the metal worker. I thought this was a mind if we, sculptor if it gets for a support, second. It's definitely the strongest card. Here, is it support? Uh huh. <laughs> you like this enlightened tutor? I like tangle wire better for this deck. Cause I've got a tangle wire. Is it an arcbound worker? What? Is it an arcbound worker? Who cares about that. My Art bad. People. I like a wingmate rock. Remember how oppressive this dude was? Yeah. Two, three, four flyers. That also gained you a million life. Yeah. Oh, I want to make some t-shirts. I might make a t-shirt with your with your bit face on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you. So, uh... Look at the Plague sp Spiller art. It's so weird. It's real weird. It's, really, it's very Dolly-esque. Yes, it is. Very much so. I think it's just Arcbound Worker, which and, is really uh, weird. Those legs. Oh, yeah. We killed a signal with the, Atomi, the, the monkey last draft. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of things. Also, there's no way those legs could support that weight. I'm just saying. Uh, he couldn't trade with Siege Rhino, but both of them could. Like, he could just put both of them in front of the Siege Rhino. I don't think we're going to play Armageddon yet, but I'm going to take this Arcbound Worker because it's super... It's it's a real impressive third pick. Oh, uh, I am tempted to make some merch, yeah. We can also make a mug with Mike's face on it. Wouldn't that be amazing? And I can drink out of my own mug. I was also going to make... Uh, like a, a, a one that says we are all chat Mike. Wow. Mind slaver? I think it is mind slaver. It's not Pentavis, right? This is no. just a this is just a ground triskel triskelov triskel triskelovian. I don't know Triskelavian. what the I don't know what the card's called. Triskelion. This is also an artifact worth noting. Yeah, it's true. But I think mind slaver is better. This is not a stipulation. There is no stipulations going on. If you guys want to start doing Pro Tour stipulations, you know where to send them. Link in bio. Buy that merch. I feel like put getting merch is one step closer to me being Logan Paul. Buy that merch. Buy that merch. Hmm. Free shipping, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can make every, everything free shipping and just bake the shipping cost into the price. Like, you know, I'll just raise the price $4 and it's free shipping. That's what most people do. Is it just Bosch? What about the Flare Husk? That seems worse than a Bosch. At least Bosch does things. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'm a golden tank. Cranial plating? Huh. Huh. This definitely seems like a cranial playing deck so far. So we're just like affinity with Metalworker? Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Mox Opal? That seems pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Boy, they're really setting us up here, huh? Huh? Take it easy, man. Don't be ridiculous. Kids these days. Oh man, I just got a YouTube comment from the Black White Fogs deck and they said, 
I clicked on this video because I thought it said black, white frogs. Damn. Why does everyone think it says black, white frogs? I'm sure, I'm not sure how to make the black, white, or the, uh, not the black, white, good lord. The Last Supper shirt. I don't know actually how to go about making that happen. Just give me some time on Photoshop and I'll get it to you. Wow. Metallic Mimic is an art of... Oh, Spire of Industry probably, right? What does it do? Really? It's a standard card, bro. I don't know anything about standard. Dear God. What is this guy? Is this a construct? Oh, we could name constructs with Mimic. These are two constructs so far. Yeah, true. I'm going to take the land. Eh, I'll take the Aether Hub. I think... Yeah, seems fine. Enlightened Tutor came back. That's pretty gas. Yeah. That's we can also good. just take Bituminous Blast and play it. Nope, Enlightened Tutor OP. Either Hub's also good if we get a... Uh... Go on. Eldrazi's. Eldratzi? Yeah. Let's take this Armageddon. Yeah. Metal worker make a bunch of mana arm again. That seems pretty good. How come you can't add wastes to your deck? How come that's not just a... It's a, it's a basic land, right? Yep. How but come you can't add wastes to your deck? That's a weird... Know. Oh, Biden of Thassa came back? I'm just taking that because it's an artifact. And because it's good with attacking creatures that want to deal damage. I can't do it with my left hand. A Bomac Courier? I guess I can. It's not it's not as fluid though. Last gasp, I guess. I used to be a blue player back then. Man, what happened? Wow. Okay. Last pick Ether Sworn Canonist? Get out of town, dude. Ooh, there's a Solon. There's also a Great Furnace. Mm -hmm. Which is probably one of the better lands for us because we have Bomac Courier. It might my wheel, though. It might. Wow. Wow. I think it's time for a... Wow. A, wh a whammy. It might be Solemn. Our entire deck is artifacts except for these three cards. And they're all art like this is these no, are both artifact. Oh, this actually is an artifact. artifact. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> oh, good lord. I got happier and I'm blue no longer. Sounds miserable. Icy manipulator. Icy seems pretty good. Nevenroll seems pretty bad. Uh-huh. So it's a goblet rune blaster. Who cares about that idiot? I'm just taking icy, right? I guess. We should have more creatures. You're a creature. Hmm. Disc? Disc kills everything in our deck. You maniac. Can you guys hear that? I just don't want to make Ooh, Boros Signet? Hmm. It's also a strip mine. It's also in Johnny Vengeance. Boros Signet's nice though, because again, red and and uh, red and white are two of our main colors right now. Because we can activate Bosch and Bomat Courier with the red. Signets are also really good with metal work. Oh yeah, they're also good with artifacts. <clears throat> I don't know if you knew that. I think this Ring of Gix will probably table. You know, it's a Signet. Quit messing. I do know that. Mike's like, but good guy. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely the pick. <laughs> And we got a Biden to Thassa to cast with it. Oh. Woo. Woo. Woo, a frog mite. I'm getting the hot flashes, guys. Let's take that frog mite, boy. Over Vault Scourge? Yeah, I think so. This is a 2-2. Two -two. This is a 1-1 one -one with lifelink with flying. We have cranial plating. I kind of want the flyer. Okay, you've convinced me. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be free, but this is going to cost one, so... Dang, this is good coffee. It smells delicious. 
Endless one can actually be very good. It's not an artifact, but like you can cast it off of Talarian Academy and Metalworker for big, big. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, that's probably the For thing. big, big. I hate you so much. Sort of War and Peace could be good. Chandra could be okay. So up. Are we just going hard on the artifacts? Hard on the artifact mm -hmm. paint? This is my impression of uh, Endless One. The most endless of big boys. This deck seems sweet. You seem sweet. Thank you. I am drinking sugar, so. I'm drinking sugar. <laughs> wow, that's that's, that's unhealthy. Well, Holy shit! You should go see well. your physician. So, Mike, what have you been? Uh, what have you been drinking recently? Well, last last week I had a whole bottle of tequila, and this week I'm drinking sugar. Huh? Well, you know. Well then. Moropede or whatever that card's called. Moropede. <laughs> Moral pod. Did you put tequila in the coffee? <laughs> yeah, man, obviously. Oh, yeah, man. Of course I did. I think it's probably mortar pod. I don't see anything else that we'd take over a mortar pod here. He's like the alien sugar water. <laughs> <laughs> I understood that reference. Oh, it came back. That's great. Yeah, that puts our academy online. Let's see what this clip is. Oh, this is Mike Can't Read. Why was that funny? I don't know. He said right in the autism. He said right in Austin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it said right in the autism. No, dude. Is it Rune Blaster here or Triskelavis? Triskelavis. Rune Blaster's probably pretty good. I'm going to take the Rune Blaster. Being able to nug their lands is pretty cool. Trisk actually seems decent. Is he right? What? Triskelavis? No. No. <laughs> No, he's incredibly wrong. Goblin Runebaster feels like it takes out anything in this format. You can just play down turn three, kill one of their lands. Everyone has dual lands, right? What happens if you kick it? It gets haste or something? Oh, uh, it destroys the land. Oh. It's a 2-1 with haste. And then if you kick it, the land continues to burn. The Lore? <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes an artifact. Wow, that's mm -hmm. great. Oh, my God. This deck is looking amazing. This is also 21 cards, not including an Armageddon if we play it, which we probably could. Uh, I think we 100% play Armageddon. Really? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of fast mana. Galvanic Blast? Okay. This is like the most perfect iteration of this deck I even I think could possibly exist. And we have a whole pack to go? Yeah. Jeez. I think, we could, I think we're done. We could actually just play it like this. Not oh, this is also a land, right? This doesn't even count as yeah. a, a spell. We definitely play Armageddon here. I'm reluctant. We'll see. Why, man? You don't want to blow up all the lands? You don't want to be a degenerate? Can you guys hear me doing this? I don't want to be too obnoxious. But it's kind of like a nervous... It's kind of like a... It's like something to, to fiddle with. Tick. It's like a tick. It's like a fidget spinner. This is actually playable. Meh. It's a 2-2 too, too hasty floater. Floaty boy. Maybe you're right. It's in our colors is the only reason I mention it. You're also one drop. Ain't nobody playing Vault Scourge for two minutes. I mana. can see that as our 22nd card. I don't even know if we play Last Breath. I don't know if you suck. No, I J don't know if JK, you suck. I, I know you do. Wow. Grim Monolith. Monolith. Ooh, boy. Oh, I thought this was a Mox for a second. Oh, my. <laughs> I was like, oh. Man, look at the disparity between Grim Monolith and Thran Dynamo. <laughs> uh, this adds three for four, and this adds three. For two. For two. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, I ain't shitting on a Thran Dynamo. I think Thran Dynamo is fantastic. I play it in my commander deck, so but, it's pretty good. I only, mean, only oh, because I can't afford it. There's also this spicy boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. But we're not black, so. I, mean, I guess we could be. We are colorless, though. Ancient Tomb, huh? And our Arcbone Ravager? Ooh. I bet the Ravager comes back, dude. Yeah, I think it does. The Ancient Tomb will never come back. Oh, God. Tomb is so broken. Ravager is such a good, a good card, though. It's so good for us. It'll come back. We also don't need a ton of playables, to be honest. Yeah, the land seems good. Thought Not Seer could also be good. But we don't. the problem is we still don't have a bunch of colorless mana. 
Like, the problem is Colorless Man in this cube, right? Like, we have... Metalworker makes Colorless. Um, Spire and Aether Hub. So we have three sources of Colorless Mana right now. That's pretty much it. We have to draw one of those three cards. And, and, and it's not like Islands where you can just add... Well, I'll just add Islands to my deck. Apparently Grim Monolith is $100 in paper. Huh. I mean, it's a Mox. Seems pretty good. I like that I go over this whole thing about why I don't like Thought Knots here uh, in this cube, or specifically in our deck. And then people are just like, Thought Knots here, take it! And I'm just like, but I just explained why it's not good. I don't understand. When you control an artifact, sacrifice Covetous Dragon. 6-5 five Flyer for 5. That could be a nice finisher, but... Think of that old table. This is also just another land, right? I yeah. bet that will table, actually. That's a good point. Yeah, there's no way that doesn't table. This pack's pretty barren. Oh, Dispatch! Oh my god! It's like oh, just Path to Exile! Really yeah, we would definitely play that. Yeah, it seems really good. This deck looks insane. No, we don't want to play Bridge. Donate? Hmm. I don't think... Mm, I don't know how many donatables. Gemstone Mine? Taps for anything. Only three times, though. It's Mike true. thinks everything was... Well, everything we've thought of the table was tabled so far, so... It's because Mike is a genius. God, he's so smart. I don't think I have Grimonolus. I would like to oh, pick actually, like Needle Spires is probably just fine, right? Sure, yeah. Yeah, I think we should take Needle Spires. Blue and white are... I'd like to pick up like one or two more artifact creatures if we can. Oh, we only have ten creatures, so I can definitely uh, get behind that. Yeah, we could take Haste and Snare, but... Also, funny enough, this is these are all like manas and fixings. Which is quite a bit. Yeah, so we can really take any color card we see, probably. Right? Um, anything that's uh, uh, just guy? So, anything that adds every color is Diamond, Opal, Spire, Aether Hub. So we have four cards that are basically just like... Yeah, so we could really take anything. Yeah, Illusions is in the cube. We saw it in round one, or in our, in our first draft, so. <sighs> it's pretty rough. Um... Sacred Foundry? Yeah, that seems pretty good. And it's probably better than anything else, right? I don't think it's Splinter Twin. We could put it on Solemn Simulacrum, though. That's pretty good. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that from? I don't remember, but it's definitely from something. Mm hmm. What is that from? Someone tell us what that's, what that's from. Uh, I don't think it's raining here, actually. Not Powder yet. Okay, I got the beginning of your upkeep. You must put a fused counter out. Sacrifice to destroy each artifact and creature with command is equal. Eh, I don't care about that. I'd rather just have Mirror Enforcer. Oh, yeah. That's good. I want to put it right in the one spot, because that's probably what it's going to cost. Wow. I don't think either Val is great for us. No, we don't have that many creatures. Um, Earthquake could be just a good finisher. We can make sure. a ton of mana. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is Family Guy. I don't think it's Herbert from Family Guy. It's some. It's somebody else though. Wednesday update: Air quality is still unhealthy across most of the Puget Sound region. We could get some clearing tonight, but it may be one to Thursday before it's noticeably clear. We'll update. The Jeez. Heart's going out to my Seattle bros who are having shitty air quality. That's pretty scary. Dude, yeah, I know. Like, the West Coast is really sad right now. Is Jareth any good? Like, just to take him as a six drop? I don't think so, man. Really? It's 4 7 for six? Uh huh. We got tons of ramp? Uh huh. Just cliff top retreat? Yeah, that seems better. Oh, table. Nice. Knew it. Knew it. 
Probably could, we can probably cut Mortar Pod. Y'all people got no respect. Covetous Dragon came too. Could be Steam Vents just to play our blue cards. Yeah, I could see that. I don't think we need Covetous Dragon. It's a 6 5 flyer. Whoop -de -whoop. We can play it real early too. I think this guy's actually probably pretty good. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Covetous Dragon, bro. The dragon, bro. I don't think we can play Biden. Wait, maybe we can. I mean we have Talarian Academy. Oh, yeah, we have a cat. We have all five of these. One, two, three, four, five. You might be right. I actually think it's fine. I mean, to... we need to make cuts. I also think we can probably cut the Rune Blaster. Yeah, we can sideboard that. I'll take Chaney Boy. Yeah, I think this is the deck. And I think it looks f friggin' great. Yeah, donate came back. Yeah, if only climate change was real. Boy, then we'd have to worry about that, huh? Can you imagine climate change if, if climate change was real and the way the fires are going? It'd be so much worse. Alright, let's make sure that everything is good. Arcbound Worker, this guy, this one, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Oh, this deck looks nuts, dude. Yeah, this deck looks really good. I'm a fan. Sort by color. <laughs> three white, three red. All right, so... so how many white do we have? Red, white, red, white, red, white. Every color, every... Actually, this... Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, it's a one-time, but it's every color. It's a one-time dually. And every color, every color. Okay, so... Three, three, one. No, I'm not doing that. We're probably going to go four, three. So that now we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven white sources and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven red sources. Yeah, that seems fine. And we have a Boros Signet, which is literally our exact colors. That's insane. I can't see out my windows from all the smoke that's blown over. I'm in southern Alberta. Oh my god. Bowman is also red. Well, it's, well, we're not. We weren't. It's you know what this deck needs? Sky Scanner. He's right. He's right. Everix, thank you so much for the resub. We really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, someone two minutes ago, you got one Mike as a genius buck. God, unbelievable. This deck is great. I don't know if this deck is strong. Here's the thing. I don't know if this deck is strong because it's very dependent on the metagame and like the the cube itself. But as far as like a cohesive artifact deck, this deck looks amazing. I think we're gonna crush. Because the synergy is real. There's, the deck has a ton of synergy. I'm just hoping we have enough ways to like. It seems like get, synerg get synergy damage. Is, is like what this cube is about. Also, cranial plating. Yeah, the hell of a clock. <laughs> You'd have a better time counting the number of non-artifact cards in our deck. I think it's like five: Pia, Blast, Tutor, Dispatch, and Dragon. I think those are the five cards that are not artifacts in our deck. In before Shatterstorm, yeah, that would be really bad. So we have 23 cards. Five of them are not artifacts, so 18 are. But then three of the other cards are. We have two Moxes and an Ancient Team, so we have 21 artifacts in our deck. That's insane. This is a turn two Covetous Dragon, just to be clear. Or turn three, I guess. Turn three, six, five. That doesn't die to, like, Fatal Push or any damage spell. Seems pretty strong. Of course, if you hit, like, a Mox Diamond, it's turn two. Ooh, that could be good. It's my little baby. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> oh. oh, we didn't count on this one as non artifact, I guess. I guess you got me, Alan. Twenty it's fifty percent of our deck. What do you think is the odds if he's got disfigure here? Thank you. For this? I meant for the metal work the the modular guy. I mean if they're gonna disfigure this instead of this. Oh you got a volcanic? Man, I'm jealous. Rathy, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Preach, as they say. Preach, preach. Did they play first? Oh, wow. Well, they'll be sad to use that in the future. Well, no, because even if we, if we played this, we'd still sacrifice this too, to it. So it's like at no point is this killing this guy instead of this guy. Right. 
Oh, they get the cranial? Good lord. Some guys have all the luck. Lucky, 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 lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. We could also just make a 6-6 six, six endless one. That's true. Is that better? It's probably safer if they have like a braid, then we just have to kill this, right? Mm hmm. What if they have Force Spike? You can play a Solemn. Yeah, but then we have to tap this to play Solemn, yeah. which is pretty bad. I'd rather just get use out of this because if we hit any land, we just get to play um, either one of these next turn. Was this my, was this in my Pro Tour deck? I don't know, man. It's your Pro Tour deck. It had to be, right? Here we go. Uh, I'm actually checking because I don't remember. No, I do not have Endless One in my Pro Tour deck. Okay. What are we worried about? I'm worried Things about Force Spike. Creatures. Yeah, I'm just going to play 6-6 six, six here. I think that's safer. Thank God don't have Force Spike. Yes. Because, like, if they do have... They're playing a red deck, so if they have, like, a Braid or Manic Vandal or whatever else is in the cube to kill a Grim Monolith, we just have to sacrifice this immediately. Which is pretty sad. Wow. How does that work? They just get to kill our Endless One right now. Oh. <laughs> sack oh, it, destroy sack. each artifact and creature with converted mana cost equal to the number of fuse counters. So they sack oh. it for zero, and they kill Endless One. Wow, that's weird. They have Powder Keg in their deck. It's kind of like Ratchet Bomb, but... Uh, instead of choosing to put the counters on, uh, it does it automatically at the beginning of your turn. Maybe he'll forget and put a counter on it, and then you can't kill our guy. That would be amazing. We did not hit a land, unfortunately. Did hit a, oh, we had oh, a you're right. I'm I'm so not used to playing with these cards, though. God, I don't want to play it now. Now, now I don't want to shame play it. I was trying to, so realistically in my head, I was trying to rush into combat to make like, to see if we can like sneak in an attack before they, like there's no way that realistically happens. So I don't know why I was doing that, but like the wires got crossed in my brain. The wires got crossed in my brain. I don't know what they're doing right now. Are they, they're probably like Googling the powder keg interaction. <laughs> All right. Does it have a casting cost of zero? Yep, you did it. You did it. Ah, post combat Bowmite Curry is so rough, dude. You're right. I hate myself. What a thing in the ice. It's pretty good in Sierra 1 1. Alright, Solemn Smith does not have haste. We are okay to do this. You think he'll block? Yes. He didn't block? What a sucker. That's weird. Get another white here. We can untap our grim monolith now. Well, I mean, we don't even need to. And we could have done that last turn. No, because it's upkeep. Oh wait, yeah. No, right. it ain't. No. It's you're thinking of mana vault. You're getting your you're getting your man you're getting your your one or two mana artifacts that tap for mana. Confused. Oh, you don't block the one, but you block the two, huh? All right, a bold strategy, Cotton. 
Do we just slam dragon? I think so. I also like Boros, Boros Signet into Icy, because if we draw... Uh, actually, that would give us six mana next turn, so we can play this guy and then draw, like, three. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Lots of things are true. Yeah, I like this. They don't have any counter spells, I assume. Or else they would have countered this or this, like something, maybe? Mike, have you drank since you almost died? Uh, no. I'm not really a casual drinker. Yeah, Mike doesn't really drink that much normally, so... Fraska's Contempt on my... Wow, this is a threatening Bomat career. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want you to draw cards. I guess it makes sense. Does it? Does that make sense? Might as well tap his dude and get him for two. A little less conversation, a little more action. As a new player, I have no idea what's going on here. That's normal. I wonder if we have too many too many lands in the deck. Hmm. Like I wanted a good amount of lands just because we have uh Mox Diamond. But it's still like 17 sources. Yeah, I don't care about that guy. Covish Dragon is a three turn clock, so that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's good. Oh, yeah. We'll play this. We could get Tangle Wire. I don't think that does enough. We can probably to... just get Mind Slaver, right? Um, we can probably get Bosch, right? Doesn't Bosch like. Terror. Well, that's unfortunate. Now we probably have to get a win condition. Yeah, we can probably cut one land. Yeah, we do have a lot of fast mana. That mana's fast, boy. Damn, boy! That mana's quick, boy! That's a quick-ass boy! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, big Order moles. Fast, man, I'm so jealous. Same. Uh, cubes like this are more constructed than they are limited. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Look at those. Look at our options here. What can we do? Not much. See, this is my concern. Is it just Bosch? It's a six seven with trample. Seems pretty good. How much does he cost? Eight mana though? Do we even have eight mana? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, nine, ten. Is Mind Slaver better? Where is Mind Slaver? I don't know. Do we not have Mind Slaver? It got exiled with the Bomat Courier, I bet. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's stupid, man. Dang. I was like, did we forget to put it in? I think it's out of all the guards, I think it's Bosch, so. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're going to... Untap this duder. Do 
tap that dude. I have two cards in hand, huh? One, two, three. Is that four? One, two, three, four, five. Keep up the double red. How much can we deal here? <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We can deal 20 damage. That's interesting to me. Like, if we untap, we win, right? I think so. I'm just going to pass here. Oh, no, it costs 4 to activate. I thought it was only 1. Never mind. We don't have enough to do that. Wow. That's terrible. We can do it next turn. Yeah, but we can do one. I was thinking we could sacrifice all our artifacts to kill them. We don't have enough mana to do that next turn. So. Oh, no. Yeah, for some reason I totally forgot Bosch was four to activate, not one. Bosch would be insane if it was one. Yeah, you get three Pro Tour packs if you throw. I don't know what a Pro Tour pack contains, but... The magic of the Pro Tour. Do, 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 do. Well, that's pretty good. Especially because you can get a Vraska's Contempt for free and kill our Bosch. I'm having a good time. See, this is my concern because we just don't have a lot of... Like, we have a lot of synergy in our deck, right? But we don't have a lot of powerful cards that need to be dealt with, right? Like, a Vault Scourge is cool, but it doesn't really do much. We're going to definitely bring the Armageddon now. I think it's I think it's what our deck needs. It's like an electrolyte. It's what our it's what our deck craves. Mortar pad. Hmm. I have two cards in hand. I put their good ones. This figure, huh? Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna shoot your face. There's no point in not shooting your face. Yep, flip all the dudes. I see manipulator OP. They also have Chainer's Edict in the graveyard. Their deck they're actually seems really sweet. Considering they had Terra, Terror and Vraska's Contempt, I'm not sure how our Covetous Dragon would have done if we chose that over the Endless one. They just would have used a different threat. Oh, wow. Okay. Seems good. I guess they kill their Awakened Horror as well, though, so... Yep, that's pretty rough. I mean, I feel like they're significantly ahead if they crack Neverrolls this year, and they still get to keep Torrential Gear Hulk and Mull Drifter in their hand. So, seems pretty good for them. Chia like, have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy your in law dinner. In law dinner. Said no one ever. No, I'm just going to tap you. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Wow. A bold strategy, Cotton. Yikes. Yeah, we're definitely cutting a land. God, they have Torrential Gearhulk and Moldrifter in hand. That's so brutal. And a strip mine. What do you kill here? Academy? <laughs> yeah, have fun. God, their hand is so stacked. I guess Gearhulk only gets Terror or Disfigure, but mm, both of those kill. Oh, they had this guy too. I forgot about that. So now they can just play. Uh... And they have Chainer's Edict. Like, there's so many things they have to play around right now. And this Muldrifter puts them up to four cards. One of them is a Torrential Gear Hulk. And they have a Chainer's Edict. So that's basically five cards. And we have a Metal Worker in hand. This yeah, I feels. Think we're dead. Yeah, this feels bad. Material. Why do I have Madonna's Material Girl stuck in my head? I don't understand. That's all right with me. All right. <laughs> wow. The saddest dispatch ever. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's retweak this a little bit. Rune Blaster is definitely coming in. We're going to take out here. one planes, I think. Hmm. I really like Armageddon here. I do too, actually. I think it should be in the deck. Told you. I mean, you were right. What can I say? I think Mortipod can go. It's not really that great. How dare you. Kind of like, elements, maybe. No, it's white creatures. Oh, um, I kind of like Last Breath because it takes it takes care of uh, Muldrifter, Nightscape Familiar, and Thing in the Ice. But I don't know how much we care about those cards. I think it's probably like this. We'll do it. Can't view the video, but can hear audio. That's weird. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just submit like this. Have you tried kicking your computer really hard? Have you tried turning it off and back on again? I will play first. This hand seems good. Yeah, I'm going to keep it because Cranial Plating. If we resolved a Cranial Plating last game, I think it would have been significantly different. They just happen to have the duress for it, which was pretty sad. Let's see if they can make a 2 out of 2 for that. Oh, we also have Great Furnace for the Cranial Plating. Yep, duress. Yeah. Lucky, 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 lucky. It's extremely frustrating. Yep, every game. Can you force Storm in this cube? I don't think Storm's even in this cube. Yeah, I don't think there's a. I, don't, I think that's that might be just a meme. Like, I don't want to Tangle Wire because I want to play Solemn next turn. Plus, playing this gets us closer to Mirror Enforcer. Mirror Enforcer costs five now. It will cost four with Solemn on the board. It's better to have Tangle Wire out when you have a, a strong board. Yeah, because then you have things to sack, things to tap. Yeah, I think we have to have an Illusions Donate draft at one point. For Robert. Wow. Terminate that, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. We can call it the Robert Memorial Draft. Did Robert die? <laughs> so one, two, you cost five. We don't have enough. All right, so we're just going to go solemn here. Four spike it. Never, never had it. It's more like it, dummy. That's aggressive. 
This is where they go Nevenril's disc. Kills our land, our Solemn, and our Thopter. Uh, Robert is Illusion to donate GG. Swole Mike. <laughs> No, don't touch it. You don't know how knives work, man? God. Powder keg. Again? Again with this nonsense? Come on. I'm going to kill your one one. <laughs> <laughs> they might. Wow. They Oh, they killed our great furnace, too. That's cool. Oh, yeah. That's a cool card. Well, that's better than a great furnace. One. Costs a million. Doot. I could sort of tangle wiring here. Oh, we're 100% tangle wiring. Don't forget to stack the triggers correctly. The problem is he costs he cost four and we have one, two, three. That's sad. <clears throat> is it sad? I only know Robert as Swole Mike. No, not really, because like, that's the meme. That's what he goes by. Is your first draft of cube or having me? Oh, this is our second draft of cube, and we three owed our first one, cause we're b b b ballers. They should give you two hundred play points when you when you six zero. Or uh, okay, so we want fading to go on first. Uh, when you three zero, because like when you when you win a draft, right? When you three zero a draft, you get six packs, which is two drafts. So when you three zero the cube, the Mike Cuba, Mike Mike Cuba. Wait, let's try to. Play mirror and force if we can. Here. Well, yeah, we, this is going to make two. This is going to make the most mana. Right. Three, four. And then that should be all we need. Lucky, 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 lucky. Well, that'll help. I don't even know if I want to play that, though. Why? Well, for one thing, we have Armageddon. For one, for another well, thing, they Box have... Diamond. Right, but we, but I'm not done. They have disc. Nevenril's Disc. So, like, if we save these, we don't need this mana. We have one, two, three, four, five, six mana on board. Cost one more? Wait, one, two. Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. Like, we also, it also leaves us with no cards in hand. I mean, we basically, I mean, Mox Diamond really isn't a card in hand anyway. What does that matter? I don't know, man. Let's get it down, man. You gotta put the pressure on right now. This doesn't put the pressure down. We can no, cast this guy either, though. yes, but if we played the land, we'd still be doing it. Yeah, but it's cooler. Oh, we could have actually played it without without discarding a land, too. That would be weird, though. Why? Because then it would just be useless. Right, but we'd, we'd increase our Declaring Academy. And we'd make the affinity higher. So we literally add two more mana just by putting it on the board. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. On the twelfth day of Chicken Sunday, my true Mike gave to me twelve chicken nuggets. <laughs> Read my joke. <laughs> oh, Matthew, are dude? Fantastic. Uh, this goes on first. God, it's the thing where like I have to read it every time. I'm like, oh, hold on, let me think about it. Uh, you and you. Oh yeah, boy. Okay, let's attack first. <sighs> Because they're gonna block and regenerate, presumably. Yes, 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 yes. Hope you got a force will, bro. I hope you don't. Hold on to your lands. Put them in the garbage can. No lands, no lands, no lands. <laughs> and game three. Armageddon's a hell of a drug. Yeah, it's a really stupid card. <laughs> <laughs> Who's like, so I want to be in the design meeting for Armageddon where they're like, all right, man, listen. We figured it out. You take the main resource of the game, right? Lands. And then you throw them all out. You kill them all. But then how do you play your spells? You don't. Well, how is that fun, Pro though? Mox. Don't worry about it. 
Just put them in the trash can. What are they exiling here? A plague spitter? It's your boy, Plaguey. Well, that's probably not going to get cast anytime soon. I got to tap one of their two permanents. That's pretty nice. Yeah, but the difference of putting on a repeatable planeswalker is that like I mean that guy, you gotta you gotta really work for it on that guy. Ooh, get hubbed on. Terror is pretty bad against us. This is nice. Disfigure kills this guy, but then we get to draw a card. They're at one? Alright, well. Got your work cut out for you, my friend. Manate. A manate. We won the game. We Armageddon all their garbage. Put it in the garbage can. Do 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 do. I almost want last breath just because Nightscape familiar is really obnoxious. What would you cut for it? My dad. Also, Chain Whirler is very playable in this deck. What would you cut for it? My dad. <laughs> My dad. Actually, this guy doesn't get blocked by anything, does it? No. We're playing this card, dude. I think you're out of your friggin' mind. You were hating on it, and I'm like, no. Two damage in the air over no. and over. No. 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 41 cards running okay. it. All right. Running it. All right. Ru 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 running it. Oh, dear. This hand is good, except for the fact that we... God, great we furnace, the rest, though. We're fine. Yeah, we're keeping this hand 100% of the time. This is a this is a turn... We can discard this, play Mox Teleron Academy, play Boros Signet? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty insane. I don't like discarding this. If we draw a basic land, basic land, basic land, basic land. Will it, 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 will it? That's good enough. I'll take it. I want to play a plating first. Get in there. I kind of do too. This is the hand that we wanted. Wait, so this is one, two, three. This makes Thelonious Academy pay, pay three. If we tap two for a signet, it makes four, five mana. That's pretty incredible. Old bad river. <laughs> oh boy. Can we just play a Solemn here? I think so, right? Well, yeah, we play Boros Signet first. Because then this makes four by itself. Oh, yeah, sure. Nope, not like that. Not like that. Wait, hold on. That's adding three, right? Yes, yeah, so we go Boros Signet. Well, our Meadow Worker is not going to be very good here, but that's okay. I'll deal with it. What are we getting here? Just a white? Yeah, that sounds good. 7 to ya. And PNLR makes guys unable to be blocked? Oh, boy. Or makes a guy unable to block, rather. Don't have Disfigure, I guess. Don't have Chainer's Edict, I guess. Just don't have anything. Just don't have just anything. Die. Can you just not have anything? Just die just... 7 to I just want you to die, Mr. Tenid Z. Tenids? Interesting. Mopal. Well, might as well get in some more damage. Hmm. Just play all the things. Can I get a PNLR? Admittedly, if they have Nemeral's Disc, we're boned. <laughs> Nameless Inversion. Okie dokie. Well, couldn't play around that, unfortunately. 
I will use your ability. I will not want that, even though we, we literally cut down to 16 lands. Hmm, 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 Let's equip you on the little thoppy boy. We can just hold the mocks for now. It's your little thop thop. Yeah. No disc. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can put you to 4. Okay, that makes me real comfortable. We can go get a Mind Slaver, which is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. You're a pretty cool... Dude. See, now there's a question of whether we should have actually put... Uh, the Mox Opal down, because it also lets us... We should have actually, we should have put the Mox Opal down. Oh, we could have switched, yeah. Yeah, in middle of combat, and also adds another point, so it's pretty bad. I mean, they put this puts them to seven. So even if they have disc, like they still have to deal with it. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. We just missed like one. We missed one point, but I guess we could have pumped again. So we kind of missed two points. And uh, like it better just in case they had removal, it would have been pretty bad then. Right. Like I want to be able to switch it if they go like disfigure, and then we get to move the plating, and it's pretty insane. That was the real. That was the real difference. So one, this is this is getting plus seven. So we have seven artifacts. This makes seven mana. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mana. Plus metalworker adds two. We can cast Emrakul right now. Okay, that, that top deck Armageddon did it have the win in hand then? Uh, did we top deck Armageddon? I thought we had it in hand. Whatever, not gonna worry about it. We also misplayed a ton, so not even gonna feel. Not even gonna feel too bad. And all right, so we're gonna the deck, yeah. yeah, we're gonna take out the planes, put in the Armageddon, right? Yeah, we're gonna take out the mortar pod and put in this guy. Mm -hmm. I think that's that was it, right? We could play the chain roller, but I think it's better just to board it in. I kind of like Rune Blaster actually, because we're kind of going for mana mana crushes, and we're just gonna play forty one, because this deck seems to have no real problem. No, we haven't had any mana problems. We haven't had any mana issues. And, uh, yeah, if if they didn't have the turn the, the duress for our cranial plating and literal birth with the first games... I think we would have just crushed it. Yeah, yeah, because it makes every one of our 1, 2, and 1, 3 creatures uh, significantly more threatening. And this is where I bash Mike's brains in. This stream got real dark. Hey, man, dip it in flex seal. Dip it in flex seal? Yeah, for the no stick What's that, like the infomercial? Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Do you stream other games anymore, or are you just Magic? The I've been just Magic for a while. I would love to stream other games. We're thinking about streaming some Bioshock Infinite sometime. Yeah, my only problem with that is, uh, A, it's hard to be consistent with Mike's schedule, because we can literally only do it on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I think it's fine, though. It's not that long a game. It's like 12 hours, 15 hours. Yeah, so it's a couple there. sessions. Not a big deal. It's like five. Quacker, what's up, buddy? What's up? It's your boy, Quackerino. We could do a... Uh later streams on my days off and just play that like 1am yeah it's not out of the question we happy few what is that I think I, I feel no idea what that I is I feel like someone else has said that mm -hmm. looks oh I saw this today actually this was on the steam first page it's got a 69% of metacritic nice 7 out of 10 6.3 out of 10 on IGN that's not bad it's pronounced Igan <laughs> dummy Igan I'm egging your mom. What does that even mean? I don't know, but it sounds dirty. It does sound dirty. Quit egging my mom. Quit egging me mom. Quit egging me mom. Uh, I'm not too worried about them hitting cranial plating, so I'd rather just have the signet. So next time we can go metalworky and yeah, they're keep gonna go swamp up. Duress. I, yeah, they will. I'm looking at this We Happy Few. It looks really creepy. It looks like Bioshock. It looks a lot like Bioshock.
Interesting. I don't know what to make of this game. All right, so they played a Steam Vents, and they're going to get a fourth color, I imagine, because that's how you do it in the green. Nope, just the third color. Okay, so we're looking at some team reaction. I don't actually mind drawing lands at this point, because we have so few in the deck that I feel like it's not going to be forever. Play that Metal Boy. God, I hate Sylvan Library is so good. Yeah, it's pretty busted. More like Sylvan Sylvan Library of Alexandria, am I right? We have a few as fifty dollars. Jeez. That's a bit much. Yeah, for an indie title. Yeah, for an indie title, especially because it's oh, it's actually like sixty bucks on consoles. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, Oracle of Mully Dully, which we're probably going to kill this turn. Wow, we're going to play it all. One, two, three, four. Give me that eight mana. <laughs> God. We have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have 13 mana. One, two, three, four, five, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can play. We, we're definitely dispatching this. What do they play? Island Forest? So we, this is gone. Play a land. Um, we're probably just going to play Mind Slaver here. Maybe we take their turn. Make them Can eat. Mind Slaver and Tangle Wire and Dispatch. We can't activate this too. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Actually, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 13 mana, so we can do this, this, and, and Ravager. And then we can actually make them attack into the Ravager and eat their things. So maybe we actually save the dispatch. Yeah, we could save it. So we'll play Mind Slaver. Because if they're not getting a turn, we don't have to play Tangle Wall right now. We can play it next turn. Yeah, that's true. Three, four, five, six. Oh, and then we have this for dispatch if we need it. Um, Play Ravager. One, two... Activate you. And next time we can put plating on. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Okay. So let's draw your forest. Oh, interesting, interesting. Uh, place your trigger on the stack. Okay. Yes, let's use the ability. These are your three cards. You have one red. Make them pay life seems for Cyrus you. an artifact. I mean, we yeah, we kind of want them to pay life, but then how do we get rid of the cards in their hand? So we can confiscate one of their own things. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And Tangle Wire would take care of them. Not being able to play Kijiki. We can also Scalding Tarn, leave the Pestermite on top. Uh, pay for life. Pay for... Actually, do we just can we just win? If we just tap their board down? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think we actually just win this game. Pay this... Uh, put stomping ground into play tapped pay two life uh, it's pretty good uh, one two three four five six confiscate your own oracle of moldiah make him attack us and then we just kill you wow this is an insane uh Yeah, this is why Mind Slaver is more busted than uh,
than Emrakul. Not to say Emrakul's not busted, but... Yeah, we just got a second artifact Ravager. Well, I'm just going to put Cranial Plating on it. Oh, sure. Although we could just play Tangawar and not show them Cranial Plating. Like, we know yeah. their entire hand and everything they have, we so... We don't show them anything. We just attack for two, we sacrifice the Boros Signet and kill them, right? I guess that's fair. Oh, we could also just attack with Needle Spires, too. <laughs> Which is, like, on board. Cool. Yeah, that went pretty well. <laughs> Sick. Metal Worker's uh, a hell of a card. Ten mana on turn four. Oof. Uh, considering they have Pestermite, Kiki, Jiki, and everything else, we're bringing in Last Breath, for sure. What do we cut, though? Uh, so they took four from the land... Four from four from Sylvan Library, four from Sylvan Library, two from Stomping Ground, and one from Scalding Tarn. Yeah, they took eleven damage from their own uh, their own Mind Slaver. That's pretty good. Well, not their own Mind Slaver. Well, you know, like you do. Sort of Warm Piece is probably meh. Yeah, Cutting. they ain't got no red or blue dudes. Red or white, you mean? That's what I meant. Don't worry about it. It's nice to be out of M nineteen and hear you laugh again. The bad times are. <laughs> Well, it's because I feel like these are more skill determined formats. Like uh, skill, like skill, not determined. That doesn't make any sense. Skill uh, intensive formats, right? Like you have more decisions to make in a cube. You have more control when you're drafting the deck, and you have more control when you're playing the deck. And when you're drafting in a cube versus when you're drafting an M19, if you're in an M19 draft, you're like, well, there's one white card in the pack, so I guess I'll take that. Ooh, Pod does hit Pestermite. Oh, too late. Never mind. That's good though. I like that. But, like, in an M19 draft, you're like, oh, I guess there's one white card, so I'll take the one white card. Whereas in cube, you're like, well, there's one white card, but there's also two gold cards, three artifacts, and a land that I could take. Hmm. And then you have real decisions to make. This is interesting. This hand is great. Pretty sure we just Mox Diamond Planes keep. And we can go Burmat Courier turn one. Oh, yeah, this seems, seems good. This seems real good, actually. Just don't have a land or elf or something. Never don't have it. <sighs> Crying out loud. I'm fine training there, though. That doesn't seem that With bad. With Bomat Courier? Yeah. I feel like that's going to refill our hand against them. They don't really have that much removal. I don't think they'll trade, though. That would be nice if they don't. I think there's no way you trade this early. It's also an artifact, which is irrelevant for. So I mean, we have to attack with it to get its triggers. So. Oh yeah, totally, Sarcastatron. I didn't think you didn't understand. I was just trying to explain, like, to people in general, like why I prefer cube drafting so much more than drafting regular formats. Huh. The back of the cards are interesting here. Yeah, they don't have to use like the only reason magic the only reason a magic card has the back it does is because they can't change it now. It's too late. Because then you force people to use sleeves and it's really awkward. Right, yeah, there's no way they can do that. But this is the preferred background that they would use if they could change it. So Yeah, it definitely looks better. Plus it got their little symbol. <laughs> oh my god. Good times, good times. Everything is all right. Mm -hmm. So we actually don't have a land here, which is sad. Yeah, we kind of do. Well, not really. If we had a land, we can play Arcbound, Arcbound Worker and this, which is pretty good. I'm most wondering if we should have discarded this last turn because then we'd have Worker on board, but I don't know if that's great. This well, is a very slow turn, too. Two happy Frank Bucks. Sarcastron, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are great. One, two, three. So, Mirror Enforcer is four. If we hit a land, that'd be awesome, because we can Solemn Simulacrum, but... Where did the M19... Show me on the card, on the card face where M M19 touched you. I'll never show you. Wall of Blossoms. Ain't nobody got time for that. They're at 10 already? How many cards do they keep? Two? Woo! Well, really this is... Land. Yeah, this is rough. Hmm... 
Oh, wow. I think you're going to block here, Chief. We should have played Arcbound Worker because then we can actually sack this, and I, it might be better. I wonder if we sack. For what? For three cards. Yeah, but we have to pitch our hand, right? That's right. How it works. Yeah. I don't, I don't really know if I like that. Well, I mean, he gets his lands, but. No, I don't care. Got giant growth? No. Okay. What is this cube? Also, Oktus asks, we just ordered seven pizzas. What do we do? Uh, that's a lot of pizza. I think you can consume them. I will also take one. Yeah, since Did you order one. one to my house? Ship it. Ship us that good New York pizza. Oh, sh please ship us that good New York pizza. Give me that good good. That's what the kids are saying, right? The good good? Yeah. How do they not have... This is turn four... They don't have a third land, but they kept two cards off of Sylvan Library. What does even happen? Oh, they, now they have a land. Okay, so sure. All right, so they're at eight. If we mind slaver, can we kill you again? Oh my god, we actually can because of Sylvan Library. Yeah. Wow, if we draw Metalworker, we just win the game, I think. There's a place that's super close to New York Pizza, and it's called Little Italy. And uh, it's been my favorite pizza place since I was a kid. I just want the gif, I don't want the image. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Vault Scourge. One, two, three, four. You're going to cost three. We're still one mana shy of doing all the things we want mm -hmm. to. What does it say? Pay three. Okay. So. Yep. We have we has a sadness here. They're at eight though, man. That's ridiculous. Draws two cards and so oh okay. I was like, oh my god, what? <laughs> oh yeah, give me that life. Give me that sweet, sweet life. I'm wondering what our opponent's deck does. We have not seen much. Oh, Kiki might pester. Kiki Kiki Jiki might pester. Kiki Jiki Mike. Kiki Jiki Mike. <laughs> I think we're dead. I think this is probably going to kill us, yes. I think we made some mistakes along the way. I mean, not drawing a third land for a million turns is also pretty rough. Wow, this hand seemed really good, too. Yeah, we're dead. All right. They went from two, two mana in play to... Oh, wow. Tolarian Academy. Fashionably to the party. Yeah, this guy kills a lot of things that we care about. We haven't seen Aether Orange Cannon. I don't think yet. actually Arcbound Worker is pretty mediocre. It's a one drop, but yeah, we haven't seen Aether Swarm Cannonist. We haven't seen. Uh, I guess we've seen most of the other stuff. I'm surprised this guy is so hard to cast in our deck. We just had awkward draws. Everything is all right. The songs I sing are so random, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I will play first. Give me that gas hand. This is a pretty gas hand. I'll keep this hand. Is there some way we can not play Tolarian Academy? No. So I want to Armageddon then have a Tolarian Academy. And then have a Tolarian Academy. Tolarian Academy. Wow, Tolarian. <laughs> That's amazing. Tolergian Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard well, it here first. Tolergian Academy. This is actually not that good. What if we kill that? 
with this. Kill it with your mortar pod. I am going to kill it with my mortar puzzles. Kill it with your mortar pod. Hey, hey girl, you want to see my mortar pod? Uh, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to decline. That's fair. I wouldn't want you to look at it anyway. It's not pleasant. Living weapon. Get infected on biatch. Boop. How many? How much mana does declaring 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 McAdamy make? <laughs> you hear this, dude? Oh, I hear him. I'm looking right at his face. Look, look, look with your special face. Oh wow! All right, we're doing well here. Does it say? Please tell me you're not paying actual block mana for that. What are you insane? I could. No, I can't. What are you insane? We got one mana floating. Two, three, four, five, six. We can almost cast a Bosch, which is pretty funny. Boshy. How much does it cost? Two? Oh, we don't have anything floating, I guess. All right, yeah, sure. Put that on you. Put Might it on you. I wish it was a cranial plating. That'd be so much better. Yeah. I may lose the mana. I accept. Can we play Bosch next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. If we draw a Great Furnace, we can. If we draw... I think that's it. Eight mana's a lot. Pyrexian? Yeah, you can put those in the dishwasher, the stove, the fridge. You can put them anywhere. Pyrexians can survive in any environment. They're like tardigrades. I don't understand, but I just saw, I just saw someone post a, a Magic Online video from an hour ago, and it was for Constructed, and I'm like, I don't understand people who play Constructed formats when the cube is out. I, I don't get it. When any cube exists in, in, the, in the entire multiverse, if there's a cube. Oh, I see. Well, that's cool. Are you killing my Vault Scourge? You know what to do. Oh, dishwasher steaks. Mmm, delicious. Put your Pyrex put them in your Pyrexians. Yeah, I guess we're gonna shoot you in the face. Well, Mox Opal offline. Thunder's happening. Thunder. Th -th Thunder. Mox Opal online. Which is nice because we have. Now we can tap a roof. Tap a roof. Tap tap a roof. Tap there for us. You're so smart. I know. All right. Do you? I play constructor and cube because my favorite deck archetype is revival cube strat. Well, yeah, but like, don't you get tired of it? Like, how many times can you play your favorite deck archetype? Like, do you really need it for that one specific week? That seems aggressive. Is that how long this keeps out for? Uh, yeah, it's only out for a week. I don't know. I hate that. And then we gotta go back to M19. Oh, God. I do hate Imagine Dragons, but that does not... Uh, what do you call it? It doesn't diminish their catchiness, if you know what I'm saying. You should. That was a pretty straightforward thing I said. I wasn't really a... Yep. I think Twitch just insulted me and says none of your friends are online. Get out there and add more. It's Twitch call yeah, that's that's usually what they're... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is really sad. I just want to play Bosch. This is so sad. Look at this deck. This deck is amazing. Give it a lick. I just want to play Bosch and then Armageddon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, just making sure. Just want to make sure I'm not doing anything incorrectly. If they take four more damage, Bosch just kills them in the face, right? <laughs> oh, actually, Galvanic Blast is is pretty versatile, pretty deadly too. Like if they ever took, if they ever went down to four. I don't know that one. Okay, well, th thanks, Alex. I really appreciate that. 
She doesn't know that one, but... You can always MG, MTGA instead of M19 next week. Wow. I guess I could. Start from zero with no cards. And a, and a client that's kind of suspect at best. I might have to kill that. Do we do anything? Do we? We don't have a reason to play Galvanic Blast here. Okay, so hold on. I think we actually just win here. Not right this turn, but we win next turn if they if they can't do anything right. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we're one away. One away. We're one. If we hit a land, we can go Bosch and Sack in the same turn for eight, and Galvanic Blast is not is twelve. So let's do that. Well, we we're we're gonna we're gonna play this first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually play Bosch this turn if we don't think they have an answer. I don't think they do. They're playing Teamer. What are they gonna do? I mean, they already have a Viridian Zealot. I mean, like, they're playing red and green. <laughs> like, those are two of the best artifact destruction colors. Nah. Okay. Well, I'm going to tap down their blue during their upkeep. So, forest goes in hand. Deep analysis. And Rishkar, okay. None of those are super impressive, which is good. So they put the Rishkar back. And it looks like they put the Forest back. So they kept Deep Analysis. Yeah, if we hit a land, we can actually go Grim Monolith, Bosch, kill you. That would be pretty insane. Mm, okay. Oh, never didn't have it, it seems. Kaladish? Why are we playing with yeah, Kaladish lands? Mana. Yep, deep analysis. All right. Pelucranos. Forest is gone. Deep analysis is gone. P-L-U-K. One day. Yep, no Pelucranos anymore. Okay. And Pelucranos stayed. For anyone who always wondered about that, this is another instance of where you shuffle your library when the top card is revealed and the top card doesn't go anywhere. That happened to me in real life yesterday. I'm 100% sure that's a bug because it happens all the time. Okay. We just need a land or a mana source, man. Even a Chrome Mox will do it because of Talarian Academy. Or like a... <sighs> Hurts my brain. Eight percent of the time, it happens every time. Wait, wait! No. Oh, dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have to actually tap this first. I was saying if we tap this and after Bosch, then we get to actually put the Bosch. Yeah, we can't cast Bosch without it. So one, two, three, four. Four mana. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my god. The problem is we use our Galvanic Blast, so if they do have like Kiki Jiki. We know one card is Rishkar. I don't think they have it. Yeah, they just would have done it last turn. Just play boss, pass the turn, and hope for the best. Well, no, we can wait. We can wait and... we don't. I don't want to put this on board and, like, put him at risk. Like, there's no reason to do that. We, only how, how many times, how long we enlighten Tutor and we just get a Mox Diamond. Okay. 
and we win the game. Yep, we're just going to pass here. I guess we could also tune a Great Furnace. Yeah, right. So, I mean, like, we have options. Great Furnace probably even better because it adds two mana, where Mox just adds one. Okay, so Steam Vents. And... Oh, boy. Thank you. Three Levine, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. All right, so Civic Wayfinder and Lotus Cobra. Okay, put Steam Vents back. So you took Lotus Cobra. I guess, I don't even know, hard to say. Confusing. Okay, so Wayfinder is on top. So you have Lotus Cobra and Pelucranus and Rishkar. Pelucranus, Pelucranus, careful consideration. Huntmaster, oh, confiscate. They don't have double blue. Nice. Oh, and they went to four? Wow. Oh, tell me orangutan. Oh my god, really? See, and if we played Bosch, they would have killed Bosch with this. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. so bad like we can't do it now right like this takes away four mana if they kill our grim monolith it's so f so stupid it's so brutal is there anything we can get that just wins us the game they're at four what about mind slaver we have enough for that Doubt it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we're not even close. Yeah, we can get it, but we can't activate it. And they'll have enough power on board to kill us, right? No, they only have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they have seven exactly. Man, I really wish we had like a more call engine this deck. Furnace would add two, but it doesn't do anything, is the problem. We already played Galv Blast. It put them to four. You wish we had what? Like a Burm Coil engine. A Burm Coil engine? A Burm Coil engine. <laughs> and a Burm Coil. I think we just have to get Great Furnace and play Bosch. Yeah. And they just kept confiscating hand, right? So they just steal Bosch. Yeah. Yeah, we can't actually win this game. Is there a chance we can... Do we not have 12, right? No. Otherwise, we just win. Yeah, all right. So that's stupid. God, if they just literally just don't have to hit this. Like, unbelievable. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> we couldn't have cast it last turn because they would have tried uh, Uktabi orangutan it. If we play Solemn, we're just dead because they have Pelucranos in hand. So they just play Pelucranos for four. They go one, two, three, four, five, six. Or they just confiscate it. They just confiscate it and attack us for seven. Any blocker we have, and we're dead. We can tap it. We can tap a guy with Icy. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And then they just kill Bosch. God, I wish we could Armageddon here. Yeah, no, we're just dead. Why are you so expensive? It 
Taking Solomon and equipping with Mortar Pod just doesn't do anything. Like, it's just a cute play. We get to tap down one of their guys. They can confiscate the Solemn, and then we just shoot them. We tap down a guy, we go to two. Like... There at four, we can play Bosch and Sag Bosch to kill it. So, yeah, well, you're right, we can. Uh, as soon as you figure out how we can get 12 mana, you let me know. One, I wish Icy two, untapped a land. That would be four, insane. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're three mana shy. Mana. Like, it's not even close. Yep. We're two mana away. Because if we played Bosch, I mean, we, we're not two because we have to always use this. Yeah. We can't do that. Yeah. yeah, they literally just had to kill the Manolith. <sighs> yep. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Like, we get another turn. No, we don't. They just confiscate it. Well, then we can Mortar Pod. We can sack it with Mortar Pod and put them to three. Four, five, six, seven. No, we actually don't have the mana for that. We don't even have the mana to equip it. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, this is just brutal. One, two, three, four, five. We can just tap one of their guys, I guess. They don't have a man land out. We get one more draw, I guess. Oh, they just confiscate something, don't they? They can confiscate, like, Mortar Pod. <laughs> Put it on two things. I guess we'll see what happens. They can just confiscate Talarian Academy, too. Yep. Yeah, playing Bosch is like certain destruction. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one mana up if they do that. Oh, no, there's an Inferno Titan. Either. Well, yep. they can't draw it. Well, yes, they can. Yes, they can. They have Sylvan Library. <laughs> they just choose that as their one card. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. You, you okay? I mean, <laughs> I don't understand your, like. Did you forget how to cast a titan? I mean, it goes to your hand. Mm-hmm. Mm I mean, they also drew both of their, like, artifact destroying guys, like. Yep. God, I wish we had a cryptic command here. Just tap to learn academy cryptic command. <laughs> Unbelievable. Our plan was so solid too. Like literally have 12 mana Bosch shoot you for exactly eight. Hmm. What can you do? Why are you slow rolling this? Oh, what's super going tight? on? Doing great, GG's. Okay. <laughs> cool, audio wizard. <laughs> like, oh man. That's weird that you'd be a dick to someone who like you've never actually like who who wasn't like who didn't do anything wrong to you. That's so friggin' weird, man. Like, why are you gonna start out with a? Dot, dot, dot. Like, what, am I taking too long for you? Sorry. I have a clock, you have a clock. You'll be fine. I saw from your stream that you were doing great. Good games. A white knight? I'm just going to play Metal Worker here. For obvious reasons. He was in chat? Oh, great. That's fun. Was he really? Is that why he was taking so long? That's fantastic. Love it. Quality. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm gonna cheat during a friggin' cube draft. Wow, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. Oy, Fascinating. Oy bay. Hmm. 
so you can make four mana, five, six, seven mana. Yeah, it's a good amount. But it's one shy of Bosch. It's always one shy of Bosch. No. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, what? Actually, Sword seems pretty insane in this matchup, oh, yeah, right? Oh, true. Yeah, let's do that. I think they're just dead. It's my Bosch, and I want it now. What do they take, like a million here? Mm hmm. Like basically a million? I think they take nine. Good lord. That's not a reasonable amount. And we gain three life? We can just Armageddon in the next turn as well. We're just dead. Assuming they have no way to deal with the sword. That's not going to do it. Next turn, kill all the lands and win. I like it. So I'm just going to block here. Put a counter on my champion. Because pro white seems good. And this is 10 damage. And... Uh-oh. 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 What is this? Fighting this guy? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, man. Oof. Let's, is... get, let's Armageddon them. Let's just game. If we Armageddon? Yeah. Four, five, six. Uh, we're, well, we're going to attack first. Sure. Make sure nothing is relevant here. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're yeah, that seems good. God, I don't want to play the Academy though. What are you gonna do? Actually, can we play PNLR and then? So we'd go like this, and we'd have three artifacts. Oh, we can't, but then we'd have canonists, so no. No. Oh, that'd be so sad. We actually have the mana for it. One, two, three, four, five. No, we don't. We have six. One, two. No, we we'd have so yeah, we'd have we we'd have the mana. Because this makes three, four, five, six, and then we'd play Pia first to make the Thopter for seven. Do it. He can't even get rid of his clue, lol. Good point. Yep, that'll do. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> right, maybe we'll maybe have to get a clue. All right, we did it. Oh, audio, audio, whatever. Audio asshole left. That's sad. Good times, good times. Oh, they said have fun, and I played a Armageddon. They did not have fun. Should we board in Black Knight? No. I feel like Last Breath is good against them. Earthquake seems good, actually. Yeah, I agree with that. I want to bring an Earthquake. Quake in the Earths, so you don't have to. <sighs> Rune Blush is probably not great here. Yeah, I can I can do it. Wow, we went sort of, sort of War and Peace into Armageddon. What a time to be alive. It's like a metal worker, but it doesn't have anything to go with it, so it's a mulligan. This is really rough, too. Yeah. Um. I think we have to keep it, though. Definitely on land. Oh, I didn't. I boarded it. I bottomed it. Wow. The greed is real. I want artifact land. Oh, that guy's going to be a pain in my ass. Well, we already have our own only artifact land. You're my only artifact land. Shut up. Hmm. <laughs> Got him! Hmm. No, I want like Mox, Mox, Grim, Boros, Signet. Those are the things I want. Hmm. Oh, that seems pretty good here. Oh, dang it. I got to use the white here, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take it. What was the land on top anyway? What was the Spire? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about that. That's pretty close. Yeah, I don't see him in the chat, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I could care. I could care less. What'd you say? It taps for any color, though. Your mother taps for any color. She really does. Wow. So this costs five. This guy gets no discount. We can actually just... I'm probably just killing this guy in response to you pumping. Like, hey, I'm going to get him. But he ain't. You ain't getting anybody. <laughs> I 
Nice Armageddon, but Munch, wow. Yikes. That was a good that was a good time walk. I am a fan of things like swords. Put it on the board and we'll um, sing songs. Nail it. Put it on the board and Miles Miles make sing songs. Oh, that's a card. Thanks, Toxican. Toxican? T Taxin? Chin? Taxi? Taxi. You know, did you learn how to spell? Taxi. When you were a child? Taxi. It's not spelling, it's pronouncing. I'm not spelling his name, you dummy. Did you learn how to pronounce as a child? There. That's the better question. And the answer is no. No, I did not. Well, that's unfortunate. Thanks for bringing it up. Oh, Masticore? Well, that's something, isn't it? I don't know how we beat a Baneslayer Angel, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, we were fine racing because we gained five every turn, but, like, this is a problem because it just blocks our guy. And they can regenerate it. Now we're having a bad time. Ooh. Yeah, that they just... Nothing. That does nothing. I think we're dead. Make me feel some type of way. And how are you going to have a colorless creature? How rude. Oh, we don't have a white source. That's brutal. Yeah, I think we're going to go to the next game. Yeah, we're dead. Hmm. Boy, that... It's got a real rumbling out there today. Alright, let's try to get a better hand. Bank Slayer Angel? Not these days. What, does she cost like 20 cents now? Yeah, let's hands go ahead. Really? You have no nothing to support the metal worker. You support him with your... With your emo he needs emotional support, Michael. <laughs> either vile. Oh, either vile. Like Scarlet Engineer just wins the game, right? Not against a Bane Slayer Angel, don't. Hmm. I would still probably play it though. I think it's Metalworker, is it not? He doesn't have any friends. Yeah, but if we hit any artifact, we get to go Covetous Dragon. Right? True. I mean, what's the alternative? This one? Yeah. Just get in there. Kill him with your fly boys. Yeah, I can see that. Also, we have enough mana for uh, PNLR next turn. And what? Oh, I was like, what's even happening right now? Well, we have multiple artifacts for Dragon. We have Metal Worker. We have... We'll have a Thopter, so I'm not too worried about this. However, if they do play a Bane Slayer, it's... Awkward. It's better. They didn't do anything, though. Mmm. 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 Wow. We can go get, like, a Grim Monolith or something. We can get cranial plating, which seems pretty good. What are you doing? Stop. Stop doing things in response to me attacking. It's really throwing me off. Gah. I think it's just metal worker here. Because next turn it lets us do a lot of things. If we get a Grim Monolith, it's like really good. Yikes. Oh, I should have done it. Oh, I should have responded with Enlightened Tutor. Actually, we can just do it during our upkeep probably. I should still be fine. Because I really don't want to give them a 4-4 token. Oh, Sword seems real good. Let's do that. Sword on this guy? Oh yeah, we're doing that for sure. Faux show. So we're gonna play sword with one, two, three, and then this will easily equip it. Yeah, we're we're gonna do well. What'd you get? Student and figure? Yeah, that's fine. Those are really mana intensive and you can't put them into play with either while, so. Alright, so upkeep we're enlightening tutor. Enlightened tutoring. Make it big. Sword of War and Peach. Let's 
So we're going to reveal sword. Dunzo. Play it with this. Three, four, five. So we can play a PN Kieran Alar. Actually, we'll wait to do that. But oh, we, we can't. can't. No. God, that's so bad. I want the life gain here. Doesn't really matter too much. Really? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at 13. Then just don't play it. They take five, six, seven. They take nine. It's a two turn clock. I mean, we're definitely. Oh, we have blockers. Never mind. This is blockers. I'm not smart. And we still game one. Yeah, this is pretty good. And they didn't put anything into play on three, so that means they have no three drops in hand, I presume. They have, we know it's two other cards, student and figure. That's a green, so that's pretty sad, because they're, yep, that'll do. <sighs> they never don't have it. Got a six for a green. <laughs> they never, they really never don't have it. It's pretty impressive. Uh, one, two, three. I guess if they don't have answer for covetous dragon, we just win. Yep. But we have to see if they have it. So I wouldn't have attacked with that one. One that seemed very ambitious. Well, they have to go. I want them to go to five. Oh, it's a six five. Yeah. Never mind. Well, they didn't put anything into play, so we know they have two of the four cards are these. So they have two two potential cards. Come on. That was a land. That is not it. Okay. I don't care about that. You don't have enough mana to make him fly. Figure's gone. Because this guy's just going to get there. Are we just going to win with the Covetous Dragon that you didn't even like? Yeah. All right, we did it. Thank goodness, man. After dealing with Banishing Light and uh, Tabi Orangutan and Grim Model, that deck actually went pretty well. Not too bad, not too bad. And uh, unfortunately, our uh, round two opponent decided to enter the chat for some reason. They were just like, hey, you're streaming. I'm going to check you out and uh, watch He's your games. He's taking a really long time. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go look at your stream to see what, what you're thinking about. Yeah, that makes sense. And, uh, you know, it's... What are you going to do? Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sign up, like, and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Maybe. Hopefully.